<sighs> All right, you guys. Having some technical difficulties. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. Lord. Oh, I got earphones in. All right, guys. Can you hear me? Didn't I say life gets in the way? Having some technical difficulties here. But we're here. We made it. I know some people probably left, but that's okay. What's up, Felix? What's up, Cortland? What's up, Roman? What's up, AF Guy Trumpet? Hopefully everyone's here and uh, is ready to start. We can we can probably skip the warm-up. I know we're starting really late. What's up, Carlos? We're having some technical difficulties. Won't have Instagram. A lot of things happening, <laughs> but it's okay. It's all right. How are you guys' day going so far? But today is day 14. Day 14 of Bebop Scale Mastery. And today we're going to learn more about... I can hear you. It's a little bit low. Go ahead and turn up your, your phone or wherever you're listening to. I can't really edit the, the volume right now. But I'll get closer to the mic. But go ahead and turn your phone up, turn, turn your computer up. But today, today, day 14, we're learning about how we can add more. We can add more chromaticism to our lines. Before, we, we uh, was only adding chromaticism between the tonic and the seven. Let me fix my, my light here. Overexposure. There we go. That's kind of better. All messed up today. Okay. <laughs> Victoria, what's happening? AF guy says very productive day today. Great. What's making it productive? All right. So today, rule uh, we're going to deal with rule number two. The previous days, we dealt with rule number one, and um, we were not putting any half steps anywhere. We were just playing the regular old uh, Mixolydian scale, just starting on different non-chord tones. But today, we're doing rule two. And what rule two is, is adding in the half step before you get to the next chord tone. So we're gonna add. We're gonna play like four half steps. Four half steps in this line. So the first half step is gonna be in between the nine and the tonic, and then the next half step is gonna be you know the bebop scale. So uh, between the tonic and the flat seven. Okay. So this is what it sounds like. So that's what it sounds like. It's gonna have the 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 half step in between the nine and the tonic and the tonic and the flat seven. Okay, you guys ready for that? Unfortunately, I won't have the music on the screen, but if you're like uh, my patrons, my faithful patrons, they already have the the PDF download for today, the exercise for today. So if you would like to download today's exercise or Previous exercises, you can go to patreon.com slash the black trumpeter and just take a look at it while we're going over all the keys. We're gonna go through all the keys. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for today. So hopefully you have your, your horn out already and we can get started. Now, if you want to actually hear an example, a real live example of it, I would say go listen to when Marsalis played giant steps. And he plays an example of starting the starting his line on the nine and playing the half steps in between the nine and the tonic and the tonic and the flat seven. 
So if if you're if you want to listen to or hear someone do it for real for real, then uh, listen to that. You can go to YouTube, type in Winton Marsalis Giant Steps, and it should be the first thing you see. Um, also also did a um, uh, analysis of that solo. So I'm gonna soon I'm gonna upload the transcription that I did for that solo onto the Patreon, so you guys can take a look at at the solo um, transcribed. I transcribed a few courses. But let's see. Here we go. All right. Oh, let's see. Lord have mercy. Ugh. Everything's happening today. It's okay. We're going to get through it. We're going to get through it, chat. <laughs> uh, all right. So. All right, so let's do the first key, which is C7. And we're going to do it at 75 BPM. We're just going to skip the warm-up for now since we're starting so late. But we're going to start on the on the 9, which is C, which is D. And then we got to play the half step in between the 9 and the, and the tonic, which is going to be D flat. Okay, here we go. 1. Two, one, two, three, um. Uh, again, one, two, three, um. That's two. Uh, again, two, ready, go. That's three. Uh, again and ready go that's four one more two three four cool now let's do double time da 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 one two one two three Oh, uh, that's one uh, again. One, two, three. Oh, uh, that's two. Last time uh, again. One, two, three. Oh, uh, all right. That was a C. That was C7. Now let's do. Now let's do. So our last key will be uh, D7. So let's go up a half step, and then from there it'll just be all down step, down uh, down a half step from there. So let's do D flat. Let's let's do D flat. So we're gonna start on the nine, which is E flat, and then play that half step in between the nine and the eight, which is D flat. I mean, which is uh, which is D, and then we play D flat. And then we play our major seven, the, and then the uh, minor seven, which is uh, C flat, right? So if you already know your bebop dominant scale, uh, if you've been here for since we started, um, the later the latter half of the scale should be easy, easy enough, easier enough. But if you haven't, I would say go back to the earlier episodes and shed the uh, dominant bebop scale in on different chord tones. Just to get it under your fingers, but now we're adding another ha half step in between the nine and the and the tonic. So we're gonna put that that E flat and then the then the D and then the D flat and play and play the dominant bebop scale from there until we get to the third, which is F. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. That's one, uh, again, two, ready, go. That's two, uh, again, and ready, go. 
that's three again and ready go that's four one more two ready go that's five now let's do double time da 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 one Two, one, two, three, four. That's one again. One, two, three, four. That's two again. One, two, three, uh. All right, so let's D flat. Now let's just go just go down. Just down by a half step. Uh, we're gonna transpose. So we're gonna start on B. B7 is the next key. And we're gonna keep on going until we hit our lowest note of, on the trumpet and hit all 12 keys. Cool? Alright, so if you're having trouble just um, transposing, I know the music isn't up. If you're having trouble transposing, you can go to patreon.com and this exercise is on, on the site. Go to patreon.com slash the black trumpeter and you can download it and also other other exercises that we've done in the past but anyway uh af guy trumpet said he was being productive today by doing yard work nice that's great uh my um my uh parents my my uh my wife's parents we live across the street from them so uh they do yard work across the street and um in their yard and I see them, and it looks beautiful. They just replaced their um, their garage door, and that looks great. So they're doing stuff outside, staying staying busy during the quarantine. All right, so let's do B. So we're going to start on the 9, which is C sharp. The half step in between the, the 9 and the tonic is that C natural. So we're going to play C sharp, C, B. And then from there, we're going to play just the bebop scale, bebop dominant scale, until we get to the third of, of B, which is D7. Okay, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, my bad. <laughs> here we go. Probably should have did that warm-up earlier. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, go. That's one, again, and ready, go. That's two, again, and ready, go. That's three, again, and ready, go. That's four. One more, two, ready, go. That's five. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Lord, I need some water. All right, here we go. So that was uh, in time. Now let's do double time. Ba -da 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 -da. Here we go. Double time. Three times in a row. One, two, one, two, three, um. That's one, again, one, two, three, four. That's two, again, one, two, three, uh. Nice, so that was B7. So we got a few keys under our belts. We got D flat, we just played D flat, we played uh, C, and we played B. Now let's do B flat. So we're going to start on the nine of B flat, which is C natural. And then a half step in between the nine and the tonic is, is um, B flat, or you can call it A sharp. How it, uh, no, 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 wait. So we're playing B flat. The nine is C. Okay. <laughs> that half step in between is B natural. Sorry. Uh, or you can call it C flat. Then we go to the tonic, which is B flat, and then continue the line down from the 
dominant bebop scale until we hit the third of B, B flat seven, which is D natural. All right, Get, got a little tongue tied there, but we got through it. Here we go. So B flat seven, starting on the nine. One, two, one, two, three. That's one, again, two, ready, go. That's two, again, and ready, go. That's three, again, and ready, go. That's four. One more, two, ready, go. That's five. Now double time. Da 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 da. One, two. One, two, three, four. That's one. Again. One, two, three, four. That's two, again, one, two, three, four. That's three, all right. Now let's do A7. We're plowing along, we're plowing along, plowing along, we're chugging along. <laughs> uh, so that was B flat. Now let's do A7. A7, we're gonna start on the nine, which is B natural. And we're going to play that half step in between the nine and the tonic, which is B flat. So we're going to play B, B flat, A, and then continue the dominant bebop scale down, just like we use, we usually do, uh, down to that C sharp, which is C, uh, which is the third of C of A, seven. Okay, here we go. One, two, start on the nine. One, two. Three, uh. That's one. Uh, again, two, ready, go. That's two. Uh, again, and ready, go. That's three. Uh, again, and ready, go. Go. That's four. One more. Two, three, four. That's five. Now let's do double time. Da 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 da. One, two, one, two, three, four. That's one, uh, again, one, two, three, four. That's two, last time, uh, again, one, two, three, four. All right, all right. If you like this video, go ahead and like the video, like the stream. If you enjoy it and you wanna share it with your friends, go ahead and hit that share button. And uh, so more people can be invited and, and play along with us. Um, I created this so I can get more of um, more more freedom with scales, more freedom with this scale in particular. Uh, so I didn't have to think about it as much when I went to improvise. And so I looked over, I, I spent years, you know, just kind of studying by myself with no real uh, mentor and just had to pick it up my, on my own. And um, it took years, it took some time of, of not really doing it, And um, but I figured out that there's certain rules to how to place notes and when to place half steps and, and where to play the notes. And there's, there's some, some geniuses out there that have d already done the work to figure out how, how to make these scales more musical. And, and make it reflect the bebop language and the bebop 
um, style. So there's three people that that I definitely had to study and I read and I read and I practiced and I put it off for years. And now I, we have the time. It's during, it's quarantine time. And I was like, well, I should really put all this stuff to use now. So uh, you guys are here along for the journey. I'm practicing j- along with you. Uh, so we're going to do this together. So that's the that's the whole thing ab- about this uh, bebop scale mastery. I'm not saying that I have mastery over the scale. It's just the pursuit of mastery. So um, come along with me and during this journey and um, we'll get things done. Um, an hour a day or however many however many minutes that you devote to this is just about the pursuit of it. It's not really about the 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 um, the reward. And that's just that's just everything about the trumpet. With the trumpet, you got to learn how to enjoy the process because this thing is a process. It changes every single day. So because we're dealing with flesh, we're not dealing with um, reeds or dealing with some mechanical thing. We're dealing with flesh and flesh and, and blood. So it changes every day. <laughs> I have to tell a lot of my beginning students that because they get really frustrated when something works um, yesterday and then it doesn't work the day after. Uh, just as long the process is there, you'll be okay. We'll be okay. We just got to do it every day. All right. So let's do A flat. A flat, uh, we're going to start on the nine, which is B flat. And we're going to play that half step in between B flat and A flat, uh, which is A natural. And then after we play that, play that, we're going to continue the line down from the dominant bebop scale and end, end our line on the third, which is C natural. Okay, here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Um, that's one again, two, ready, go. That's two again and ready, go. That's three again and ready, go. That's four, one more, two, ready, go. That's five, now let's do double time. Da 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 da. One, two, one, two, three, um. That's one, again, one, two, three, Four. That's two. Last time. One, two, three, four. All right, all slurred. And again, for me, I just got to make sure that my air is going just consistently straight and don't let up on, off the air so we can get a nice full tone on that last note. All right, so uh, let's see. Just checking the chat here. All right. Let's go to the next key, which is G. G7 has, uh, we're going to start on the 9, which is A, A natural. The half step in between the A and the G is that A flat. Lord, here it is, that A flat. My hat was in the way. <laughs> and uh, after we play that A flat, we're going to go to G and then continue the line down until we hit the third of the of the bebop scale, which is B. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Oh, wait. Da, 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 da. Wait. There we go. I got stuff in working order now. Here we go. One. Two, one, two, three, um. 
That's one. Uh, again, and ready, go. Oh, gotta start over. I guess this is the key I need to practice. <laughs> G7, here we go. One, two, one, two, three. What's up, Braden? Okay, there we go. That's one, one, two, three. Uh. That's two. Uh, again, and ready, go. That's three. Uh, again, and ready, go. That's four. One more, two, ready, go. That's five, finally. <laughs> I was messing up there, which is fine. This is practice. Okay, here we go. Now let's do double time. Ba -da 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 -da. One, two, one, two, three, four. That's one. Uh, again, one, two, three, four. That's two. Last time, uh, again, one, two, three, uh. All right, all right. Now, was that easy or, <laughs> or not? I don't know. I was struggling with that key. Let me write that down. Yesterday, I was struggling with A flat and E7. Now something new today, G7. But I mean, it's starting on a. We're doing a new concept, so we're putting that half step in a, in a, adding a half step to the scale. All right. Okay, so that was G. Now let's do F sharp. Let's do F sharp. F sharp seven. So we're gonna start on the nine, which is G sharp, and then we're gonna put the half step in between the nine and the tonic, which is G natural. Then we play that F sharp and then continue the line down until we play um, our third, which is A sharp. Cool? Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, uh. That's one, uh, again, and ready, go. That's two, uh, again, and ready, go. Oh, I got me I messed up. Here we go. Got to do it again. You can you can keep going if you want. I'm gonna start over. One, two, one, two, three, uh. That's one, uh, again, two, ready. Go. That's two. Uh, again, and ready, go. That's three. Uh, again, and ready, go. That's four. One more. Two, three, four. That's five. Whew, I have to close my eyes for that one just to focus. Sometimes I'm, you might have, you know, more distractions. I got a lot of distractions going on. Like I said before, I got this screen. I got that screen. That screen got these lights. Sometimes it's just okay to just close your eyes, focus on one task at a time. All right. Take a nice deep breath. Let it out. Relax. And just let's play our next scale, which is F7. F7, we're going to start on the 9, which is G. Well, oh, wait, we're going to go double time. I'm sorry. Double time. Let's do double time F sharp 7. See? Not even focused. Here we go. Double time. Da. Oh, that was close. Da, 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 da. Let's do that double time. Three times each. Then we'll go to F7. Cool. Here we go. One, 
two, one, two, three. Ah, uh, double time, not regular time. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Uh. Oh, that was an ugly sound. <laughs> Crackling and crickling all over the place. Here we go. Oh, Braden says, you got to go. Have fun. Have a nice day. You too, Braden. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. There we go. That sounds better. That's one. Uh, again. One, two, three, four. Uh, again. Last time. One, two, three, four. All right. All right. Now let's go on to F7 now. Uh, but before I do that, uh, I got some shout outs first. We got some new new members in the practice holic community over at patreon.com slash the black trumpeter. Got some new Patreon members and I just want to shout them out real quick. I didn't get a chance to do that earlier um today or earlier in the stream. But let's do that now. Let's show them some love. Um but yesterday I also got um a donation. Got some donations yesterday. And it was like right right at the cusp where I was gonna cut off. And so I didn't get a chance to shout you out. But if uh, Paul Tidyman, thank you for your $4.99 donation, man. Every dollar is very much appreciated. So I appreciate you. Thank you, Paul. Also, Derek Tate with the $5 Cash App donation. Thank you so much, Derek, uh, for your for your uh, support for the channel. Any dollar amount is cool. So I appreciate you guys for supporting the stream and supporting this channel. You know, because messing up uh, in front of you guys ain't easy, but you you guys uh, show some love, show some support, some support. So uh, I appreciate everybody. All right, let's see who our new Patreon members are. So when you're when you're on this page, patreoncom slash trumpeter, you get you know these exercises for uh, you know. Each day, I put them in all 12 keys for you guys, so it's just that much easier to practice and to play along. So we got two. We got two new folks. We got Jonathan and we got Powell, our two new members of the Practice Hall of Community. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining. Uh, we're up to 40, 40 members now. That's crazy. So I appreciate you guys for being here, either here on the live or here um, on the replay. Okay, so thank you. Uh, there's 12 people watching. There At one time, there was 19 people watching. So if you haven't already, go ahead and like the video if you haven't liked it already. Uh, if you don't like the video, that's completely fine. That's good. That's good. Give me some feedback. So if you if it, this video needs a thumbs down, you won't hurt my feelings. But, 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 if you give me a thumbs down, I need some feedback. So tell me what you didn't like. So tell me some su some suggestions that you have. And uh, I'll make the adjustments. Cool? So just don't give me the thumbs down, which it doesn't hurt my feelings, but I, I want some feedback. Feedback is my oxygen. All right? So let me know. All right? We got some We got some chats chatting. We got Felix saying, good for the Patreon colleagues. Very useful. Thank you, Felix. One of the Patreon members, Felix. And with the good, with the good word. All right, so that was F7, I believe. We did F7, right? No, that was F sharp 7. We did the um we did uh the double time. Now let's do F7, right? Or am I tweaking? Am I bugging? Let's do F7. So, um we're going to start on the 9, the 9 and the in the tonic. We're going to play the G flat, or you can call it F sharp. Then once we hit that F, we go down the dominant bebop scale until we hit that low A below the staff, which is the third. What's up, Dexter? What's up, Dexter? What's up, uh, Youngin? All right, F7 now. Thank you, Felix. I get distracted sometimes. Thank you for bearing with me. 
Here we go. F7. Five times in a row at tempo, and then three times in a row, double time. Okay, don't be afraid. All slurred, it should be, you'll be fine. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, uh. That's one. Uh, again, and ready, go. That's two. Uh, again, and ready, go. Ah, uh, start on G. I actually started on F. Here we go. You can you can keep going. I'll start over, and then you guys can either finger along or sing along while I play. Here we go. Five times in a row, no mistakes. That's my bar. Here we go. One. Two, one, two, three, uh. That's one, uh, again, and ready, go. That's two, uh, again, and ready, go. That's three. Uh, again and ready go that's four one more two three four that's five now let's do double time da 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 one two one two three four that's one uh, again. One, two, three, four. That's two last time. Uh, again. One, two, three, four. All right. All right, let me write down F. For reason F was a tr was a trouble key and not F sharp. Life plays some funny tricks on you sometimes. Some funny, funny tricks. All right. So that was F7. Now let's do E7. E7, and we're almost done. We got one, two, three. We got three more keys left. Three more keys, and we're done. Okay, here we go. Let's do E7. E7, we're going to start on the nine, which is F sharp. F sharp, and then the half step in between the nine and the eight or the tonic is F natural. Then we play E. Then once we hit that E, play our dominant bebop scale all the way down till we hit the third, which is G sharp. Cool? You got it. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. That's one, uh, again, two, ready, go. That's two, uh, again, and ready, go. That's three, uh, again, and ready, go. That's four. One more, two, three, four. That's five. Now let's do double time. It's hard. To, I don't know what really messes me up. Is singing up an octave? I don't know why this messes me up. I sing up the octave and I try to play the the regular octave, and it just messes with my fingers and messes with my mind. So. I like to, I try to sing the notes that match the actual sound as much as possible. And, um, yeah, I don't know. If, if you guys' mind works the same way, I like to sing, try to sing the same pitch, whether or, whether or not I have to use my falsetto voice or use, like, my really deep, you know, um, announcer voice, you know. But I try to match my voice with the actual um uh, the actual pitch or the actual timbre. 
so I can better connect my mind with the instrument. That might be a little bit hard when we go further up in the in the tessitura of the trumpet, but uh, it just helps me. But I just understood now why I can't finger along if I'm singing up an upper octave. And that was just a, a quick light bulb moment right there. So you guys uh, figured that out with me, right? Live. Okay. So let's do double time. Uh, double time. E7. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Uh. That's one. Again. One, two, three. Uh. That's two. Again. One, two, three. Uh. That's three. Now let's do E flat. So E flat starts on the nine. We're going to start on the nine of E flat, which is F natural. In F natural, um, we're going to play the half step in between the nine and the, and the tonic. And that is E natural. So we're going to play F, E natural, E flat, and then continue the line down until we hit the low G below the staff, which is the third of E flat. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, uh. Da, 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 da. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. That's one. Again, and ready, go. That's two, again, and ready, go. That's three, again, and ready, go. That's four, one more, two, three, four. That's five. Now let's do double time. One, two, one, two, three, four. That's one, again, one, two, three, four. That's two, last time, again, go. All right, all right, last key. And that's D, last key, and that's D, seven, that is. So we're going to start on the nine, which is E natural. We're going to go, we're going to play down a half step, uh, which is E flat. And then once we hit that D, we're going to play the dominant bebop scale all the way down until we hit the low F sharp, the low F sharp, which is our third of D seven. You guys ready? Now, this is our last key. Then we're done. So here we go, 75 BPM, five times through at tempo, then three times through double time. One, two, one, two, three, uh. Again, one, two, three, four. That's two, again, and ready, go. That's three, again, and ready, go. That's four, one more, two, ready, go. That's five. Nice. Now let's do double time. You guys ready? Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. That's one. Again. One, two, three, four. That's two. Last time. Again. 
All right. All right. Now, whew, I always sigh at the end of it because it's like playing in all 12 keys. It's, it's not an easy task, but when we do it every day, you know, it, my technique gets better. Oh, fun fact, by the way. Um, that's what, that's what, um, what's his name? Uh, <laughs> um, the cornetist, the famous cornetist, uh, the Clark book, the Clark, Clark, and not Clark Terry, but the whole, the holy grail of technical and, uh, technical exercises, that Clark book. Um, he played in all, all keys every day. And the reason why I know that is because I picked up one of his books. Uh, uh, it's not called, it's not the technical studies one. It's a, it's another one. It's like a daily warm up that he used to do or he, or he did. And he put it in a book form. And what he said was that he, he played in all 12 keys every single day. And he would take etudes. I kid you not take etudes and play them in all 12 keys. That's why he's a beast on cornet at the time and in history. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's my thing. So we, that the, the point was in saying that is that in, for us to have better facility on our horns, the expectation is that we play in all keys in all 12 keys. Yes. Herbert L. Clark. For some reason, I, the Herbert was just leaving my brain. Uh, I need to eat something. <laughs> I'm running low on glucose, and I need my glucose to be replenished. So I could not think of Herbert L. L that part, but I thought of Clark. So thank you, AF Guy Trumpet, for that. Herbert L. Clark, he was the beast on the cornet. So what he would do every single day, play in all 12 keys. Can you imagine that? taking a twos or taking like Arben's uh, exercises and just playing them in all 12 keys beast just so we can master the instrument on any key F sharp B E A you know all those guitar player keys you know that we hate to play in so I'm gonna leave you guys to it I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of your day I have to go and teach a lesson in a few minutes so we won't be able to apply this to uh, tune, but uh, ho listening homework for today is go to YouTube, type in Winton Marsalis Giant Steps. Uh, if you need to, slow it down so you can hear him play, um, uh, hear him play this in his solo. He plays this in his solo in that uh, in that Giant Steps recording. So go to YouTube.com, type in Win Marsalis Giant Steps, and you'll hear this. Uh, he start. I think he's. It's a. It's a E set. It's a two five one to A. Right. So he actually starts on the second beat. He doesn't start on one, but he starts the line on two. So be on the lookout for that. See if you can hear it. Cool. All right. So this was fun, you guys. I know I had some technical difficulties. Uh, we started a little bit late, but you know, life likes to throw some life likes to throw some curveballs at you from time to time, and you just gotta be ready for it. You just gotta fight through it and do what you need to do, right? So, uh, it was a joy to work with you guys still on this journey. So I'm gonna let you guys go. You enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, you take care, have fun, and happy practicing. Peace. <laughs>